Hey, what's up Orbiters? It's Nick from the Orbital Alliance. Today we're outside because it's finally warm here in Illinois. We've been shaking the cold winter grip that we've been having for such a long time. The frost is gone, the snow is gone, and we have wonderful 70 degree temperatures. So I brought my pal Nova with me today to record. So we sit in the trunk and just hang out at a park because, you know, that's the best place to bring your pooch, right? <laughs> with that, I want to bring your attention to some exciting things happening here at the Orbital Alliance, as well as in just general space news. You you may have noticed right at the top of the video some new music. I've never used it before. Why? Because it's custom Orbital Alliance music. It's brand new. This is the first video I'm using it on and I'm trying to find a good mojo with it right now but I went through this awesome process with my dear friend Daniel who goes by Oliver Dodge on social media. He is a musician, a composer, and he's just flat out talented. So he's one of my friends and he's helped me write this music. He produced it, he mixed it. We had a kind of a brain melding session where I kind of gave him influences and he kind of put some stuff together and he's like, what do you think? And then we rewrapped it and pushed it into different forms. And what you hear in today's video is the final mix. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I'll be using it going forward on the channel. So when you hear this music, I hope you think of the Orbital Alliance. But yeah, that's been a lot of fun to work on. So thank you, Daniel. I leave his links down in the description below so you can go follow him. He just released a new song himself so you should go support him and give it a listen in terms of space news there's been some epic stuff happening so let's start with this nasa just announced the artemis 2 crew which is going to be launching next year in 2024 and why is this monumental this crew will be the first crew to return to the moon since 1972 that's over 50 years ago and this crew the mission of artemis 2 will be traveling around the moon they're not going to be landing on it yet that'll be artemis 3 and beyond but artemis 2 mission is going to be a crewed flight test of the orion capsule and the sls system which only has had one previous launch which was uncrewed last year and that was artemis 1. so the artemis 2 crew are going to be very brave people testing out this spaceship for the first time with people on board so that's exciting so they announced that the commander is is going to be Reed Wiseman, who's a seasoned astronaut. The pilot will be Victor Glover, who's going to be the first African American to go to the moon, which is amazing, and he's also extremely seasoned. They also announced mission specialists Jeremy Hansen and Christina Koch. And I mentioned before, Victor Glover being the first African American going to the moon. Jeremy Hansen's the first international partner to go around the moon that isn't American, he's Canadian. And Christina Koch is gonna be the first woman to go to lunar orbit. So this is gonna be a huge monumental mission, very exciting, and the announcement on NASA's live stream was just epic. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out on the NASA page. And coming up this month in April of 2023, the orbital flight test of SpaceX's Starship is going to be happening hopefully in the next two weeks, which is extremely exciting. Elon tweeted today that he's saying that it's gonna happen in the end of the third week of April, pending FAA flight approvals, of course. And if you're not familiar with Starship, it's their latest prototype spacecraft, which is eventually going to be taking people to low Earth orbit, the moon, and Mars can carry up to 100 people and huge payloads of vehicles and life support systems and everything else. It's going to be incredible. But this is also what NASA is contracting to the Artemis 3 missions and beyond to be a lunar lander from the Lunar Gateway space station down to the surface of the moon. NASA needs Starship and it needs to work. So they're going through a flight test here. So this is gonna be the first time that SpaceX will have ever attempted an orbital flight around the Earth, not just suborbital, where they kind of hop and come back. And hopefully it works. We've been waiting for this for years and it's been just a ton of delays and more delays and more delays, but it's finally time to happen. And I think it's gonna be one of the coolest things that we could ever see. The most powerful rock in the world doing a test flight. I should uh, probably also note that SpaceX just gave me a little bit of a notification on YouTube that they posted a video called Starship Mission to Mars. So go watch that because they're testing Starship out. And of course, to wrap up today's update, I've been working on a ton of content behind the scenes. I took a little bit of a hiatus this past month, particularly to get over the sickness that my family has been passing along and in, in our house right now. I was a nasty fountain of grossness about a week ago, so I finally shook that. Uh, but I've also been doing a lot of planning. I've been writing some things, organizing and strategizing some of the content that's gonna be coming up this summer on the Orbital Alliance. Some really big ideas that have been jammed in my noggin for a very long time. I'm stoked out of my mind for it, and I cannot wait to share a few of those, hopefully very, very soon. At least the, the ideas of what those are gonna be. So stick around. Let me know in the comments section below how excited you guys are for NASA's Artemis II mission to happen and SpaceX's Starship orbital flight test. I know I'm excited, Nova's excited. She may not look it, but she's excited. Right, Pooch? 
<laughs> we're excited. So let me know what you're feeling. And until the next video, Orbiters, I will see you all on the other side. <laughs>